Would they actually suppress cures for diseases the way they've suppressed free energy technology? Sadly, my research has shown me the answer is yes. One well-documented example is the case of Dr. Royal Rife. In the 1920s, Dr. Rife invented the most advanced microscopes of his time. He also developed a new technique he called coordinative resonance, which was apparently able to destroy cancerous tumors as well as viruses. In 1934, in clinical trials affiliated with the University of Southern California, Rife's treatment was tested on 16 terminally ill cancer patients. Within three months, they were all successfully cured. Soon after, a lab testing Rife's technology was burned down and a frivolous lawsuit was filed. Through the efforts of Morris Fishbein, head of the Journal of the American Medical Association, Rife was essentially shut down and ruined, his brilliant and promising work all but forgotten. It was really hard for me to consider that someone might actually be suppressing cures. And cancer has run through my family like a raging river. I found out that it's all about patents. If a pharmaceutical company can patent and make money from treatment, especially one that we have to keep on using, then that's what we get. Otherwise, we don't even hear about it. It's not just Rife who got shut down. Reen Case had an old Indian Ojibwe formula that was effective. Harry Hoxie and Max Gerson had natural remedies that worked. But you know, if you go and you look them up, the AMA makes them sound like complete quacks. And that's where following the money has been so helpful, because the same powers who control the AMA and their research and funding control the pharmaceuticals. So there's a multi-trillion dollar financial incentive to suppress cures that can't be patented. Knowing that cures exist has not taken away the anguish I feel from losing so many people I love to cancer. It's given me something really satisfying to do with the pain. And I believe when we take the love and devotion that we have for everyone who's died and who will die unnecessarily, and directed to developing and getting these cures out to people who need them, we can break this cancer legacy and heal.